What's up YouTube, this is RJM. Welcome to my channel, RJM Entertainment. I'm about to show you how to do the Act 2 heist or the Bogdan problem heist. It's a little glitch, so it's easy, quicker than what most people do it. Everyone do it the long way, so I'm about to show you how to do the quick and easy way. Now starting off, what you want to do, you want to put the difficulty on hard. Right now I have my boy Xavier helping me. So I'm about to, uh, now if you have, you can do this with a total of four people. But right now I have my boy X helping me. Now, if you, if, if you have a friend that have the heist too, then you can rotate. He can give you a million, you can give him a million. But it's, uh, I'm just about to give him a million right now. So I'm starting the heist up. And make sure y'all like this video and subscribe. Now the max amount you can give him would be 85% because they automatically make you give yourself 15%. But if it's three other people with you, then you can try to divide the percentages up. But from this glitch, he'll be getting over a million. If it's your first time doing the heist, you can get the first time bonus. which I think is 250,000. So that's a quarter of a million. Now I put him on air control. And I'm on a submarine team. Now it really don't matter how you do it. You can do it any way you want. You can be on whatever team you want. But uh, you typically I'm, I'm the one that usually go inside the in the submarine. But I'm gonna show you no matter uh, what team you're on. Now I have the uh, facility that was right here, and then we, the heist starts right there. So it's close, so we don't have to drive that far. If it's your first time, they have a, uh, in the top right-hand corner, I mean top left-hand corner, it's a trip skip. And you can trip, you can skip the trip instead of if you gotta drive real far, it'll just spawn you right over there by where we are now. So I'm getting in the car, the Stormbird, and he's gonna get into the Avenger. Now, hey, wait a minute, Xavier, don't take off yet. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to call um, Pegasus. Now, if you have one person with you, you can just call for a jet ski, which is the Seahawk. Seahawk. Hello, you're Xavier. through to Pegasus Lifestyle now, Management. How can I help? Boat. Now, you can order the D because if you have more than um, two people with you, but I'm ordering the Sea Shark. So, because uh, there's just two of us, that's the jet ski. But if it's more than Thank one person, you, sir. Uh, your beautiful you, watercraft it, is now sure ready for you at our nearest harbor. The, um, a jet ski, you got to purchase that way before you do the heist. If not, then you're going to have to go over here and hope that something spawns. So right there, that is my jet ski right there that spawned. And by the time we go over here, some other uh, jet ski should spawn over there. If not, he's going to have to come over here and get this. Now, typically, I usually you want to try to make it over to the beach where he's at right now in front of me. You want to make it over there before him, but he's rushing being a butthead right now because it'll cost the jet skis to spawn if you get over there first. So now that he came back to me, the jet skis just spawn. I see them now. So now he can come back over here. You know how your friends, when they butt heads. All right, so now he's gonna hop on the jet ski and he's gonna leave the Avenger right here. Now, most people, when they do this glitch, they leave the Avenger where we first, um, when we pick the Avenger up at. Don't leave the Avenger there. You're, you're wasting a lot of time. That's gonna waste time. So what you wanna do, you wanna leave it right here on the beach. I'll show you right here on the map. Is this part of the beach that like a little thumb? You leave it there. See, this is where we first spawned at. 
and this is where we are now. You wanna leave it right there on the beach. And now I'm gonna go over here to this yellow dot, to the submarine, and he's gonna follow me. Now doing it this way, you won't get shot. Most people think doing it this way, you'll get shot. You won't, all you gotta do is follow my steps. And when I come out of the submarine and we're going back to the Avenger, back to the helicopter, they, they'll shoot at you, but they will not hit you. So this is the glitch part. So everybody else do it the long way. This is the short way. This way should take eight or less minutes to do it this way. And as the video is playing, you can time it for yourself to see how quick it is. Although he did waste a little time because um, he uh, didn't let me go over to the beach first. So I just waited for him. Now what he's gonna do, he's gonna, he see me on a mini map, so he's gonna stay right above me. So make sure whoever's on the, on the jet ski or the boat, make sure they stay above your dot. Look on the mini map and stay above you in the water. Cause if you go over to the beach, then the helicopter's gonna come and shoot you. So that's what people mess up at. Do not go anywhere near the beach. They're gonna start shooting at you. Now this is the quickest way I go through here. Now follow my steps, follow the route that I take because this is a quick, easy way to get through it. Like I said, this is the quickest, easiest way. And the best, best way to uh, navigate through here is... What you want to do is use a shotgun going through the submarine because the bullet spread on a shotgun. So it's easy to take them down that way. Now just follow the route I'm taking. Everyone take the long way. This is quick and easy. You don't have to go all the way around the submarine killing everyone. Matter of fact, hold up. I forgot to show you one thing. Let me show you something real quick. So let's say if you have more than one person in the submarine, have one person wait right here at the table, pull out their phone, and just get ready to take a picture of the table. So just have them just like this, and then the other person go ahead through the submarine killing everyone. Once again, take this route. This is the quick, easy route. Now don't make this left here. Most people go that way, killing everyone. Just take this right. Pop him, then go to the contact. Then all you have to do is just intimidate him a little bit. Just maybe shoot around him. Don't hit, don't hit him though. Now once you see the, the yellow dot pop up on your mini map, then you can go ahead. You don't have to sit there and talk to him and hear him out. Just go straight up to the control room. But if you're, if you're by yourself, go upstairs. If you're with someone, that person that's taking a picture, just tell them to go ahead and take the picture soon you see that little dot on the mini map. If not, if you're by yourself, just go back upstairs. There's gonna be that one guy right there and that's it. Sometimes he may meet you when you get to the top of the stairs but it's only that one guy and then that's it and just take this route that i'm showing you quick and easy and then you'll go up here and take the picture of the uh, table now once you do this you're going to go into a cut scene for about three or four minutes Now, if you're impatient like me, you can go ahead and skip the cutscene. But you know, if you want to watch it, especially if you're new to it, but if you've been playing this already, you just want to see the uh, quicker, easy way, then just uh, watch it then.
And once you're done with the cutscene, they're gonna spawn you outside the submarine and then just swim up to the top, then have your friend and the jet ski or the boat pick you up. Now they'll be shooting at us, but they won't hit us. So doing it this the glitch this way, they will shoot at you, but they won't hit you. Cause most people they'll leave a car on the beach and leave the um, Avenger all the way back where we picked the Avenger up at, and then now they will have to get in the car right now and drive all the way back over there. See, that's wasting time. So this is a uh, another quick method or a quicker method. So now we can just hop in the Avenger and fly back to the airplane hangar. Now another note, something that'll uh, help you to do this a lot quicker. Most people go up the coastline. That takes too long. Take a beeline straight to the yellow dot to the drop off. I mean, Simple math. I mean, it's just simple science, simple math that if you create a beeline, that's the shortest point of two distance. So make a beeline straight to the uh, dot. Just fly over the um, mountains. So don't go along the coast. Don't go along the beach all the way that way. That's that's the long way. If you do everything the way I did it, this is the quickest way you can possibly finish this. Now also too, if you wanna skip ahead until we get to the airplane hangar or to the drop off, then go ahead. Like I said, I understand, be impatient. But if you watch my whole video, I appreciate it. And make sure you like and subscribe. Always try to bring you the latest glitches and um, glitches that actually work. Cause this glitch here, they want, I don't think they're ever gonna patch this. This glitch been out forever. Ever since this heist came out, this glitch been there. So I doubt if they ever patch this. Or if they do, more than likely we'll figure out a workaround. But this is a glitch you can always count on, especially to make money. Because if you have a friend that have the heist, then y'all both can rotate and give each other money. He's about to land inside the hangar. And once he land inside the hangar and you see the screen flash, it's gonna flash, I think, two or three times. That, that's because it's going into a cutscene. So soon it starts to flash, that's when you close your app. And then I'm gonna tell you how to reload your app back up because you just can't load it back up regularly. So now when you reload your app back up, once this lady disappear, once the screen go black, you wanna hold L1 and R1. And this is gonna bring up the display calibration. And then you, you gotta hold both of them for about, uh, maybe, maybe about 20 to 30 seconds for it to pop up.
Alright, see there it goes. Then once you see it, then you can just go ahead and press X. You can load back into story mode or online. After a while it should give you the option to go online based upon your settings. And that's it. Then once you get back online, you'll see you still have the Doomsday Heist. So like this video, subscribe, and I'm out.